The Daily Purge. A little bit late tonight again. Sorry about the uh, the delay. Very busy today, as usual. Um, and a lot of it was advice. So I had a couple calls today. It was pure advice. And um, someone asked me, said, you know, why do people always, you know, why do you get so many referrals of people asking for your advice? And I said, why, you don't get people asking you for advice? Why not? And so it was two questions in one. Why do I get asked for advice? And why don't they get asked for advice? Well, number one is, Exposure, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I expose myself to a lot of people. I meet probably every day. I talk to probably two to three new people every single day, except for Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays. Hey, Ali, how you doing? And what that does is it builds up a reputation of someone who you can go to, uh, to talk to. Hey, Olga, how are you? Someone you can talk to, 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 to you know, just bounce things off of. Now you're probably saying to yourself, but Steven, I can't spend, you know, three calls a day talking to somebody for no money. I have work to do. I have a job to do. Hey, Carson, how you doing? Good long, Carson. Shalangish magazine, man. Echt. Hey, Adam, how you doing? Good to see you, man. So when I was talking to this uh, this uh, woman in Australia, actually, um, uh, she was like, "Yeah, you know, I, I have so much knowledge, and I need to get it out there." Hey, Wilson, what's up, brother? I have so much knowledge, I need to get it out there. There's someone who who's getting asked for opinions all the time now. Is Wilson since he went online and started, you know, promoting himself? And hey, Ziana or Zane, sorry. <laughs> um, put himself out there and said, look, this is who I am. This is what I do. And this is what I can uh, solve for, uh, you know, the problems that I can solve. So I was talking to this woman today and she said, you know, I have, I have this knowledge of this and that and real estate and this and health clubs and nightclubs and everything else that she used to do. Hey, Lane, how you doing, brother? My, my co-author, Lane, Unleash Your Humble Alpha. If you don't have it, grab it in the link below or above, wherever it is. And, um, and I said, well, who knows about you? And she said, well, my clients, my landlord. And I said, well, no one else knows about you. How can someone ask you for advice if they don't know about you? Number one. Number two, are you the kind of person, hey, Olga, Lane's saying hi to, hi to, uh, you're saying hi to Lane, that's cool. Um, how, you know, pe let me put it this way. So people know they can come to me and ask for advice. And I will either point them in the right direction or give them the direct advice or find somebody who can, one of the two or three. Um, so that's easy for me. I get on the phone, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and I'm done. Hey, Rixa, see ya. Grus dish, mine ish. And, uh, People know that. They can get on the phone with me and boom, bang, boom, done. Now other people get on the phone and the first thing they do is ask for something. You know, I get calls a lot of times that say, hey, can you help me? I'm like, okay, I don't know who you are. I've never seen you. Never talked to me. Maybe we're friends, but you know, or whatever. But for some, for some reason, people want to take all the time. And I have to say it over and over. Hey, Tracy, over and over again. If you're leading with value, you will always win. Forget about, thanks, thanks Adam. Forget about asking all the time. Right? Forget about asking all the time. There's, there's a lot of deals that I've done that took sometimes years to, to get to fruition. Uh, but I always knew I, was doing, I wasn't doing it for the fruition. I was doing it because I could do it. When you're helping somebody, you're helping more than just that one second. You're helping yourself gain knowledge, experience, and exposure. Never go back to that word again. Exposure. Get yourself out there. People got to know who you are, what you're all about, how you can help them. Hey, Alex, how you doing? You got to know how you can help them. If they don't know how you can help them, they're not going to talk to you. Now, I get calls every single day. You know, Lane's, Lane's a testament. We used to talk a lot more, but now I'm so busy because I got into this private equity thing. <laughs> Thanks, Olga. And people are, hey, how do I do this deal? What do I do with that deal? How do I do this deal? And I've only started M&A, mergers and acquisitions, in December. So it the begs the question, well, what am I doing differently than everybody else? There's people that's been doing mergers and acquisitions for 20 years. And people coming to me for advice. Why? Because I'm out there. Because I'm out there. I'm exposing, exposing myself. I'm telling everybody what I'm doing. I'm letting everybody know how I'm doing it. And people know, okay, well, he must know. Well, if I don't know, I can help them find somebody who does know or help them solve the problem or, or, or a million different things. But the point is this. I'm there wholly and fully. Like the woman asked me today, why are you talking to me? I said, because we met through a deal that we're not going to do. And now I want to see you succeed. She's like, why does it matter to you? I said, well, it matters to me because we met and now I know you're your position and I want to help you. Yeah, but why? Because I can. Right? Because I can. It brings me joy. Isn't it great when you, your advice, your help, your pointers lead someone to a better place to step into their own greatness? Read about it in the book. Step into their own greatness. That also helps us step into our own greatness. You see, when I get in these, in these calls and Lane can attest to this, we create space. And when you create that space, it pulls the best out of both parties or if there's more, more people. And man, that is a powerful thing. It's amazing, it's empowering, it makes you feel great and it makes them feel great. So if you're looking to get more um, clients, customers, more known, you gotta expose yourself. You gotta put yourself out there, do regular posts, write emails, send out to people, call people you haven't talked to in a while, send text messages, WhatsApp, just let them know you're still alive and see and check in and see what's going on. Hey Steven, how you doing? 
per, per, perfect example. There's a, a buddy I know in, Bu in, in, in Budapest. I haven't seen him for a while. And uh, I talked to him the other day. Hey, Simon. Uh, and I talked to him the other day and I said, hey, man, what's going on? What do you need? Do you need anything from me? I can, can help you out. And he told me. And I was like, oh, sorry, I can't help you. The very next day, someone said, hey, um, we got this um, solution for a specific problem. And it was the same problem my buddy the day before told me about. I was like, holy shit, this is crazy. And so I brought those two together on Sunday and now they're doing a deal. Now, that happened in three days. And both of those guys think I'm some kind of superhero, but I'm not. It's just because I know people. Thanks, Alex. Thank you so much. And so it's, it's because I know enough people and that's the entire process behind it. The more people you know, the more solutions you can provide. Now you see what I said there, right? It's not the other way around like everybody else thinks. The more people I know, the more money I can make. I don't see it that way. The more people I know, the more solutions I can provide for more people. Now, if you put that into, into play, I think the universe is going to be really good to you. I really do. You know what that does, right? That creates more and massive quality of life. And that's what we all 